Hello everyone, my name is Sean Ferns. I'm the Chief of Community Outreach and Prevention Support at the US Drug Enforcement Administration in Washington, DC. I bring greetings to you today on behalf of the nearly 10,000 men and women of DEA who are working around the world. It's a shame we can't gather in person at the NASPA Strategies Conference this year. However, I do wanna commend uh, the leadership of NASPA for the Herculean effort of hosting this year's conference in a virtual setting. And thank you to every one of you for taking time out of your schedules to participate in this outstanding conference. DEA is honored to once again this year co-sponsor uh, the NASPA Strategies Conference. It is absolutely important that all of us working to prevent substance misuse and use on college and university campuses work together. Uh, since 1985, following the tragic kidnapping, torture, and murder of DEA Special Agent Enrique Camarena, DEA has had a piece in, uh, of our efforts in the prevention world to try and raise awareness and to help change attitudes. In the, fa in the past five years, our efforts have increased to include work to support those doing drug prevention on college and university campuses. We do that in three big ways. The first is our interactive and resource rich website, www.campusdrugprevention.gov. Uh, and I encourage each and every one of you to visit that site if you haven't already. Uh, and please feel free to use any of the resources that are there, not just from DEA, but from our federal, uh, state and local partners around the country. Uh, second, uh, in the last year and a half, we have published uh, Prevention with Purpose, a strategic planning guide for conducting uh, drug prevention uh, efforts on college and university campuses. It's free for download and available off of the campusdrugprevention.gov website. Please feel free to use and abuse, uh, no pun intended, uh, that publication. And then third is our ongoing co-sponsorship along with the Substance Abuse Mental Health Services Administration or SAMHSA our annual Red Ribbon Campus PSA video contest, uh, which we have done again this past fall. And we are here today to announce the winner, and I should say winners, because for the first time in the history of this contest, our judges made up of folks from DEA, SAMHSA, and the higher education community have decided that there is a tie. And so we will recognize two campuses and their incredibly talented uh, young adults who put together these uh, drug misuse prevention public service announcements. Um, we wanna commend every uh, young person who submitted a PSA to the contest this year and thank the colleges and universities who supported that. Uh, we will be uh, doing it again next year and we look forward to even more participation in, in next year's contest. Now, uh, in order to announce the winners, I am pleased to pitch it over to uh, my colleague here, Rich Lucy, who is uh, one of our senior prevention program managers in DEA's community outreach office. Over to you, Rich. Thanks, Sean. This year, nine entries were submitted, which is the second highest number of entries we've received in the five years we've been running the contest. All of the entries were reviewed and scored by a panel of five judges representing DEA, SAMHSA's Center for Substance Abuse Prevention, and a college student. The entries were judged according to three criteria, appropriateness of message, creativity and originality, and production value. The first award goes to North Dakota State College of Science, submitted by Bethany Mauck, alcohol, tobacco, and other drug prevention specialist. Let's watch their winning PSA challenge the perceptions we see. If you think everyone is using alcohol and other drugs just like you, then you'd be wrong because that isn't even true. Our perceptions can be influenced by TikTok, our family, and our peers. Most students don't use, or if they do, only have one or two beers. Some people think that cannabis can be healthy, which is a concern. It's correlated with mental illness and can impact how you learn. Mixing substances is unpredictable and can cause a lot of harm. It can lead to memory loss and overdose and raises an alarm. Tolerance means your body is used to a drug. This isn't a good thing. You may become dependent, gain weight, and the cost will sting. You should be concerned about cannabis use in high potency rates. Withdrawal symptoms include sleep problems and anxiety. We're hoping that resonates. 
Your brain continues to grow until your 25th birthday. Using drugs prior to that can impact how well you slay. Take action by challenging the perceptions that you see and make educated choices so you can be healthy and live drug free. The second award goes to the University of Miami, submitted by Whitney O'Regan, Assistant Dean of Students and Director of the Sandler Center for Alcohol and Other Drug Education. Let's watch their winning PSA, Little Monsters. As college students, we face little monsters every day that can grow into giant beasts if left unchecked. The earlier a person starts using nicotine, like when smoking or drooling, the harder it becomes to quit later in life. With cocaine and prescription drugs, students are more likely to suffer addiction than adults because their brains are still developing. About 40% of college students binge drink, which increases the chances of developing an alcohol use disorder that could follow them for their entire lives. Drinking, smoking, or drugs may seem like regular parts of college, not scary monsters, but a bad weekend habit can grow into a lifelong addiction. It may seem scary facing these monsters and trying to fight them before they get too big, but between your friends, family, professors, and campus resources, you're never facing them alone. Congratulations to this year's winners. Each of them receive a plaque to commemorate their achievement, support to attend this year's Strategies Conference, and $3,000 to help support their campus's drug misuse prevention efforts. Be sure to look for details about the sixth annual Campus Video Contest this fall on campusdrugprevention.gov. Thanks for watching and enjoy the rest of the conference.